Colleges and Universities Month, also known as HBCU Month. So what does that look like? It's a week-long series of events promoting awareness to local high school students and their families on the importance of HBCUs. So the fact that Lincoln University, we have over 54 different student organizations, so that's ranged from Greek fraternities and sororities to step teams to hip-hop teams and also modeling organizations. So a lot of our students are involved in multiple organizations, like myself, I'm a part of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, as well as Mr. Lincoln University, also the Young Kings Movement, and I also do recruitment with admissions. And a lot of our students are involved in multiple organizations, which is why like, we already is fit to do multiple things as well. Local high school students are now attending this week's premier event, the HBCU College Fair at the Chase Center on the Riverfront. The free fair is connecting students to 16 HBCU colleges and universities. Some will be accepted to college on the spot today, while others could be eligible for scholarship support. Um, it's a wonderful experience. It's great uh, seeing all the colleges and learning what they're all about. I got accepted to Cheney, Chopin, and Bowie State University. This event has been made possible by not only our mayor and city employees, but the Newcastle County government and county executive Matthew Meyer contributed a $10,000 grant to the cause to help fulfill the goal of having students attend an HBCU college or university. We're really happy to partner with the city. Mayor Mike Perzicki's office, they took the lead in this, particularly Earl Cooper, uh, graduate of Morehouse University, and Ashley Christopher from Howard. They took the lead, making sure this happened. Uh, and this year we jumped on board and said, hey, how do we help? How do we help to give kids across Newcastle County a uh, greater educational opportunity. There are 16 schools here from across uh, the East Coast, mostly, I think, coming from as far as Atlanta. Uh, you can come here, I think Spelman is here from Atlanta. You can come here and get college admission today just by coming with grades, SAT scores. Uh, you can get scholarships. It's a phenomenal event. It's a phenomenal opportunity. And when you think about what you want your government to do, I think this is among the most important things. So we're honored to be partnering with the city of Wilmington to make it happen. I have previously went last year as a junior and now as a senior. I've been accepted to over four or three schools and now that I'm ready and been accepted and actually gaining a relationship with the admission officers, it's been a great experience so far. Um, Bowie University and I got accepted there. And then I went to Cafe University and I got accepted there. And then I went to DSU and then I got accepted there. And then Lincoln University, I didn't go there yet, but I will. I'm going to go there to see if I'm eligible to get accepted there. 1,500 local high school students were in attendance at this year's HBCU College Fair. It's safe to say that the fair is becoming an important step in the college search process and that local high school students are connecting with college representatives and discovering new institutions with the benefit of not having to travel long distance and not having to pay an entry fee. Reporting in Wilmington, Delaware, for WITN 22, I'm Yesenia Tavares.